Okay, so let's write equations of lines. So in order to write an equation of a line, there's two things that I need. I need a slope and a y-intercept. So when I look at this first graph, I see the y-intercept is at 0, 3. We always write the y-intercept as an ordered pair because it's a point. Now I'm going to find another point on this graph so that I can find the slope. Well, as I look along the graph, I notice right here the graph of the line crosses the grid at a point. So let's do the change in y over the change in x. Now notice this graph is going down, so it's going to be a negative slope. So it goes down 1, 2, 3, 4, and then over 1, 2. So then the slope is a negative 4 over 2, which can be reduced to negative 2. So my equation is y equals negative 2x plus 3. Awesome. Let's move to the next one. So here we are given the slope, and we are given a point. Ooh. So I know the slope, y equals negative 2 thirds x plus b, but I do not know the y-intercept. How can I use this fact to help me? Well, we know that points are in the written as an x and a y, so wherever I see an x, I can replace it with a negative 3. So negative 2 thirds, instead of writing x, I'm going to write negative 3. Hoo -hoo. And then I can replace the y with the 4. So the y becomes 4. Now I can use my math skills to be able to solve for b. So 4 equals, and we know 3 divided by 3 makes a giant 1. So I have a negative 2 times a negative 1, which is a positive 2. And in order to isolate b to solve for b, I have a positive 2. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. So now I get 2 equals b. Ooh, I now have the y-intercept and the slope. So my equation would be y equals negative 2 thirds x 